An Airdrie family is thanking an anonymous angel tonight who bought them a house that can be renovated just the way they want it. We're not talking about a swanky new kitchen or high-end appliances. The Levitts need to make it wheelchair accessible because both of their daughters are living with a degenerative disease. Jamie Morocco reports. Take off your shoes. Here. Like any big sister, 11-year-old Cadence Levitt takes charge. Showing off Addison's leg brace, there's no sign of sadness or fear. It just helps her uh, keep her so she doesn't roll her ankles. Her matter-of-fact attitude is incredible to see because it's not just 8-year-old Addison facing this issue. Both girls have been diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia. The extremely rare degenerative disease will eventually cause the pair to lose the use of their hands and feet, among other muscle groups. It takes away the ability to speak, to swallow, to hear, to see. With the girls wheelchair bound, getting around their current three-floor home is a challenge. Here you go. Merry Thank Christmas. you. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's something they don't have to worry about much longer. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like shaking. With the help of family, oh friends, God. and the Airdrie Angel program, a life-changing surprise. <laughs> yes. An anonymous donor bought this bungalow for the Levitts to transform. And it's amazing how generous and how big people's hearts are. And while Shanna will be taking on the mortgage payments once they move in, contractor Scott Warenka is making sure their accessibility dream also becomes a reality. As they grow, I want, them, I want the house to grow with them and make it their home. But to do that, he needs some help. We're looking at every kind of trade you can think of to help out uh, financially. And while the big picture plans include accessible doorways, bathrooms, and a new kitchen, like most little girls, they're focused on the really important details. Tell me what you're hoping to see in the new house. A big bedroom, yeah. Of course, Jamie, you sat down with the family today. When are they hoping to move? Tara, it looks like the end of April is when they'll move in, and the contractors hope renos will be done within a week, but say it could take up to a month. While the, ho the buyer of the home wanted to remain anonymous, I did speak with the sellers who knew what was going on and kindly let go of their house, accepting the first bid they received. They're happy to see it go to somebody like the Levitts. Now, if you or somebody you know wanted to get involved, you can always head to our website, calgary.ctvnews.ca, for more information on the Airdrie Angel program. Also, you can head to their GoFundMe page. It's under I'm Possible. All right, Jamie, thank you.